Okay, guys, I am here at Brown Mountain Dam, one of my favorite places to hike. But the plan here is to hike up to Paul Little Picnic Area and then veer right, go up the Gabrielino Trail like we did in this video right here. I finally learned where. It's left hand straight up. This video right here where we went up to the Gabrielino Trail just to overlook the dam from the top. We're going to keep going down the Gabrielino Trail, back into um, where the river is, or the creek, and then back up and around and down the El Puente Trail or the Fern Truck Trail. I'm not sure which one I'm going to take at that junction, um, but that is the plan today. I am on my ZV-1. I'm not going to forget the mic, although I did bring the windscreen. That video audio was horrible. I apologize. That was terrible. But let's hike on. So a little hint. I used to park way up there and then you road walk behind these houses a long distance before you hit any actual like dirt road. And then the trail is down a little bit. But if you drive down a little bit, you can make a left hand, you go around this little round thing, make a left hand turn and you can come down. And there's a parking lot right here which cuts a big section of just cement road, asphalt road that you walk on. So that's just a little pro tip when hiking Brown Mountain Dam is that you don't need to park where all trails tells you. Come down, you get a little bit better parking and you'll cut some boring parts off the hike. Hike's about 13 and a half, a little more, I think. So that'll cut a mile, you know, a mile or two out of it, uh, somewhere between there. I'm gonna keep hiking. Next time I'll talk to you, we'll be at Paul Little. Let's get there. As you can see, I'm at Paul Little Picnic Area. If you're going to Brown Mountain Dam, you'll continue right here. But if you're continuing up the Gabrielino Trail, you go this way. So I'm gonna be hiking that way right there. Unfortunately, I got my foot wet at the last stream crossing. It's the last possible time I got a little lazy, got my foot in the water, sucks. So I'm gonna be hiking with just a little bit of a cold toe for a while, it should dry out pretty quickly. Um, did want to address some things. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. Please comment below, got here, okay? It's a little test. I want to see how many people actually get this far into the video. It'll help me out a lot. fork this trail right here which comes up over here 
think it's called the Ken Burton Trail. Kent Burton Trail. That's the one I'm taking that'll get me up and over Brown Mountain, back down the El Puente Trail or the Fern Truck Trail. If you continue down that river, you stay on the Gabrielino Trail, which will then take you to Red Box, Valley Forge, where you can camp for the night, and then into Chantry Flats as a through hike. So, from my memory, because I've done this once before, sorry for the wind, but I got the wind muff this time. But uh, from my memory, this is pretty steep for a little bit. So I'm gonna hike it, and then I will come back to you guys in a little bit. Hike on. Oh my God. The climb on this hike all happens over like a mile and a half. It is literally, you know, a subtle climb up to the split to the dam, then a pretty heavy climb out of Paul Little, but that's short. And then you're into a subtle descent into the little canyon area there with the stream. But once you fork off from the Gabrielino Trail onto the Kim Burton, and it is the Kim Burton, this trail just gets uphill quick. So, I didn't feel much and I wasn't gonna do the walk bys on that. That would just be crazy. Sorry for the wind. This has been the most subtle the wind has been. It's been real gusty. So I'm gonna hike on, finish this ascent, get over the saddle and down and hopefully there won't be any wind and I can start filming again. So I'll catch you on the other side. Hike on. Just finishing up the Brown Mountain Trail, Brown Mountain Truck Trail. I'll get to this little landing saddle here. When you get to the first saddle, it was windy over there, way over there. I can't even see it now. Let me see. But that's a Wuss Will, like Well As, Well As Peak. You can go up to it, but it's just stretch, really. Uh, really steep and I just didn't feel like doing that to get a peak that I don't think any of anyone knows about so I'm not really a peak bagger as much I know I hit a lot of peaks but not just to hit them but so I'm coming up on the landing so I'm gonna take the El Puente trail down I just find it's prettier than the uh, fern truck trail which is also pretty much a single track trail so that's, that's the plan. Wind has been horrible, although it seems to have calmed down now that we've gotten this area. But there was a point where I got just sandblasted, so can't really film there. So this leg of the journey is basically done. I got El Puente down and then back onto the Gabrielino Trail to the car, which is a hop skip. Hopefully a jump away, because I am beat. I don't know how the last time when Lexi and I did this, we got 4,000 feet of gain in 16.1 miles. I think it's gonna clock in even with, with a, you know, cutting out like a mile here and a mile there, it's gonna clock in about 11 miles, I think. So, let's see what it does. I'm gonna keep on hiking. Okay, so I may have lied just a little bit or been misinformed on my own self. But if you can see those trees over in that area, through that other tree that's dead in there, that is the rest stop when you're done with Brown Mountain Truck Trail. So I have, it looks like some distance still left. That trail over there that you can see on the ridge, right there, that is the Fern Truck Trail. 
Um, it's a little wide there, but it does single track once you get down over here, right there. Um, but I'm gonna be going between those two mountains over here, down the El Puente Trail and coming down the backside of whatever little thing that is. So, okay, I'm gonna keep hiking. Junction Trail, Landing, Fern Truck Trail, El Puente Trail. Either of these two trails right here will get you back down to the Gabrielina Trail and over to where you parked. My hike says go this way and other than this section, I think that this is the prettier route to go. I was going to rest a little up here and I sat for a few seconds but I really don't have a lot of time to mess around. I want to get home before my wife and daughter get off. Uh, my wife gets off work. My daughter gets out of school, so we can have pizza night and we can watch a movie or something together. One division's on tonight. What do you guys think about One Division? In the comments below, reply to your comment and say One Division. That's it. Okay, that'll let me know you got this far into the video, and I thank you dearly for that. Okay, I'm gonna keep hiking. Okay, so I'm at another decision point. You've got a trail here. That goes to Miller Campground, uh, Sunset Ridge. We've done that hike to El Puente, which is down this path right here. So I'm gonna be hiking down here, and now I'm into nice, beautiful El Puente Trail. I'm tired. I think, one, All Trails has no idea how long this hike is. Two, no idea how much gain it is. I'll tell you when I get to the end, and I've stopped the recording, but both times I've done this, it's been longer and higher ooh, than uh, when All Trails said. That kind of scared me. And then, uh, two, this might have been too strenuous of a hike after taking basically January off. I think the Bermanier was the big, the first big back and that's like no gain. We only did six miles. So this is definitely a little much for a return hike. Luckily I'm on the downhill part, but I had to vitamin I. And I have a blister on my left foot, which is hurting and I don't know if I'm gonna dress it soon or if I'm going to dress it when I get home. I think when I get home, because it's not hurting too terribly bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep on hiking. I don't know how much more B-roll I'm gonna shoot though. I am, I'm whipped and I, I am really tired. So I may just hike it out, greet you guys in the car and say, uh, Say goodbye there. And if you've gotten this far in the video, reply to your comments below, vitamin I. Now let me know you got here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.
the hike's done. Vitamin I helped. Uh, it was less painful coming down, so I did shoot some B-roll. Um, but yeah, very grueling hike. Um, I haven't shut down all trails yet, and I probably should. But I think the hike ended up, even with cutting out Brown Mountain Dam and the parking lot way up there that they told me to park at, which is a, looks like about half a mile away. So that should have saved me a mile and then maybe another half mile at Brown Mountain Dam. I think I came in the same same weight as uh, what All Trail said. So I don't think All Trails knows how long this trail is. But hey, I will catch you in the next one. Comment below, reply to your comments below if you got this far and say all the way to the end. And I thank you. Hit a like. See you in the next one.